Good evening and welcome to a chilly Villa Park for a huge Premier League game. So here we are at Villa Park today for the Premier League match of Aston Villa versus Watford. This production will be actually directed from Media City in Salford, Manchester, which is 90 miles away from here. And all of the engineering and the technology, the equipment, if you like, will actually be based in Hilversum, the Netherlands. Two sides battling for survival. And it's Watford who get us underway. Traditionally, what we know is the OB sits out at the venue with the cameraman. Then what remote production has brought in, and you'll have the cameras on site, and then you'll come back to a centralised hub such as Hilversum, and people then operate from there. Up until now, the production team will travel to wherever the core is, so in this case it's in Hilversum. What we're doing here today, which is new, is we're allowing the production team to be based wherever they want to be. We have now remoted the production area, not only out of Hilversum, but also out of the country, into England. For this event, we decided to put the IOB at Salford to see how not only technology works, but also the logistics of the operation involving Salford, Hilversum and Villa Park. We now have the ability to put production wherever they want to go. By taking this extra step, we've actually added a whole level of convenience for the production teams. So if they want to be near the BBC studios, they can do that. If they want to be based somewhere else, we can put the IOB wherever suits them for their needs. Sometimes a director might feel that they need to be on site for whatever reason that is, whether it's to feel the atmosphere or whether it's a logistical problem that means that they need to be back at BBC for multiple productions. And what the IOB specifically gives us is the benefit of being able to do both with the same workflow. Raider comes, punched away. Dawson was close to getting his head to it. So currently we're sitting in the IOB, which is connected over 72110, based over IP. It is a flexible working space, in effect. We have a series of positions along the front desk and the rear desk that can be configured either as edits, as graphic stations, as EVS positions. Whatever suits the needs of the production, we can then make it most flexible for the needs. NEP centralised production platform is a system based on a central core, which in this case is in Hilversum. Obviously you still have cameramen going to site, we're not shipping entire OB units to site. We're talking about a couple of moderately sized flight cases of encoding equipment and camera base station. Then those signals are then shipped to Hilversum over fibre. That is where all the intelligence is. We have the vision mixer call, we have the audio mixer, we have racking, we have the EVS machines, we have all the routing. That is then sent over fibre up to Salford, outside the BBC studios and that is where the production team will sit with the EVS operators, the director will sit here and we'll cut the pictures that are being sent up to us from Hilversum. This is the IOB World Life Center. Life Center. here. All the resources are shared across different productions simultaneously, so you have efficiencies of your operation. Some EVS machines could be working on one show in the morning, they could be working on another show in the evening. At the moment, as you know, we have the hub in Hilversum, we have a hub in Australia. Those have numerous spokes attached to them. For example, Hilversum has attachments to Leeds, London, Spain. We will be able to join these hubs together and then we can make better use of resources. So, for example, whilst Australia sleeps at night, we can use the EVS machines from Australia in another part of the world. Rainer comes, punched away. Dawson was close to getting his head to it first. So the great advantage of any pre-centralised production is the ability to be able to scale from a very small event to a very large event quite quickly and easily. And the great thing also is that if something actually fails on site, we'd have to fly in replacements. With the approach from centralised production from NEP, it means that actually that could get replaced quite easily and quite quickly in the data centre. I think it's very important for us to have a flexible approach to production. So instead of flying numerous production crew out to site, we can actually stay at home to enhance our sustainability. And he's in! And that's the Villa have won it! They've had a time at the end of that time! This is just the beginning now. Where, where the technology goes and where we follow it is, is still, there's a lot to be decided. And the future can only get better from here. We need a big toolbox to be able to offer the best technical solution to production um, to deliver each event. And centralised production is definitely one of the tools that I would look at.